Well, thank you, Devin, for coming in to meet with us today. It sounds like you've got some interest in our accounting position. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me um, a little bit how you found accounting? What, what created the interest in it? Used to, used to learn how to be an archi architect and back at Dakota, Dakota County Technical College. And, but due to the fact that we had to hand draw designs, we decided to be involved with accounting because it's more computer based rather than with hand drawing. During say interview, quickly noticed the scent of permanent markers and fumes were rather choking. So we couldn't answer the question quickly and clearly. We yeah. got distracted. During Devin's interview, there was a permanent marker that had been used in the room. Devin explained afterwards that, that he had smelled that had caused him some sensitivities to that smell when others in the room had not even noticed that smell. So it just demonstrates just that heightened sensitivity individuals can have. So some of his uh, characteristics that were showing up is kind of the small cough or just a little bit of agitation where it was distracting him from answering all of the questions. So that's an example where uh, the interviewer could notice those kind of symptoms that are happening and just ask the question, is there something I can do to make you more comfortable? Individuals with autism often are going to answer that pretty honestly and let you know, that, you know, the lights are really tough for me or the, there's a smell in the room that is distracting to me, something like that too. And you may or may not be able to change that situation, but at least it gives you information about what's impacting the individual's ability to answer some questions. Can you tell me what your greatest strength is and how it might be applicable to the position that you're interviewing for today? Well, one of them is I have an obsession for detecting and correcting errors. Okay. Whenever we see an error, we'll correct it immediately. Can you give me an example of a time you've done that? Well, there was one time that uh, one of the clients created an, an error in one of his financial statements that apparently was worth 10,000 American dollars. Wow. So were you able to help recover that or? <laughs> it through? wasn't difficult, Okay. actually. What maybe three adjectives would, would best describe you? Best describe logical, analytical, and honest. Can you give me a, some type of example that maybe shows the honesty side? Hmm, in honesty. Can't remember. Okay. One of the challenges of asking the question, um, if a person says that one of their strengths is honesty, which many individuals on the autism spectrum have that as a great strength, one of the challenges to that, though, is that um, to explain what it means to be honest, you need to understand what it means to be dishonest. And when it's not in your repertoire to be dishonest because that's not right, it's hard for an individual to explain what it means to be honest because the perception that, he, that they have is, well, everybody's honest. It, you should understand what it means to be honest and what that strength is. I shouldn't have to articulate that in that way. But to get at the intent of what that means um, for that individual and where that strength is, probably the best way is to give them a case scenario where honesty or dishonesty would be a decision factor. Well, as you know, accounting is certainly about the accountability and integrity of the data and the information and um, certainly highly regulated. Do you, do you feel like your, your background, your personality would kind of bring that home, that, that honest integrity that we need for this type of position? That won't be a problem. Can you give me an example of maybe how you show, showed honesty in some capacity? Hmm, honesty. There was... <laughs> One time at can't remember. Would you like maybe an example? Would that help? Mm-hmm. 
So for instance, um, we had a, a situation here where our, our accounts payable team had identified some fraudulent behavior by one of our staff. And so they brought that to me so that we could make sure that we could do our due diligence and make sure you know everything was being handled on the up and up. And it wasn't, so we had to take care of that situation. Unfortunately, we had to fire that employee. Um, but you know, thank you to the, the person on our team that brought that to our attention. It showed that they had the ethical standards that we look for and, and the morals to, to make sure that we're in the loop on those things. Hmm. Is there a situation where maybe where you were involved in showing honest behavior to, you know, a fellow person, a friend, a family member, a coworker? Some of the modifications that I had to make were asking the question a little bit differently. Um, maybe use an example to gain an example um, from Devin's background. Um, there were a couple different times where I might ask a question that he he could answer the the. Here are the examples of honesty and integrity and loyalty, those types of things of his background, but then to give an example was a little bit challenging for him. So I had to modify my approach of giving an example so he could have something to adapt to. The most obvious solution that we gave him was to examine their financial statements more carefully and don't be tempted to create an error just because you're in a debt. Sure. Of course, they didn't take that lightly, but... Well, that, sure go, that goes back to your honesty and, and your ethics, doesn't it? Yes, but it's either that or go to prison. Which one's worse? <laughs> Is there anything else you want to leave me with of what might set you apart from somebody else that I might be interviewing for the same position? I don't believe so, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. It sounded like... What did you, what do you possess? What more strengths do you possess that would force you to look much better than any of, say, other potential employees? And that actually sounded highly in vain. In uh, talking with him about why he wasn't comfortable answering that question is because he did. He felt that it was a bit of a vain response that he's better than everybody else, and in. Um, his education and with autism and the social coaching that's uh, pr prevalent in services for individuals with autism, we teach about using filters and that your first response, you need to think about, is it appropriate? Is it going to offend somebody? And so in his response, he potentially was using his filters to say that I could respond kind of offensively if I tell them that that's kind of an inappropriate question to ask me because it would make me look um, boastful or vain, then he instead will choose to just not answer the question or not understand it. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to, to meet with us today. Thank you. Thanks.